6-25-2020 at 1.18 p.m. for 18 p.m. Eastern Time. Daily Dow Jones chart update to all of our Dow people. Here's what we have. Okay, we could never get back above the 10. And now that that 10 is flattened out, this is a daily bar that went lower yesterday, 710 point down. It started with the gap down. It started when the Dow can never get back above these key areas and take out this part of our Panther application, which is pure mathematical. The diamonds are algorithms that are used in the exchanges, and they're mathematical, and they don't lie. So... We can see now, well, we got the support level, and we're going to come right back over here where that diamond is, and we're going to come right back over here where that lower wick was, where we had that rebound, and where we failed, and now we're holding that area. But there is only one problem with it. Even though that this is a counter move up, and now that the blue line has stopped going down and it's flattened out, and the red line still above it, it does say that we would have liked to have seen a much bigger buy going up than what we would have seen going down as far as the volatility goes. Now, you can get in our option trading room with our option trading alerts, our stock alerts, they're all right there via live trading room with that live training and that entry and that exit, it's here, it's now. Not only that, when you're looking at the Dow, it had a 299-point gain. And yesterday, it had a 710-point drop. And we just always like to update our trading network and our followers around the world, especially other people in other countries who rely on the Dow. Now, as we come up, one, two, we call this a two script in our app, which is a market maker app. So, now... We're going to look to see if we can break back above here, but we do have to go back. But when we do break out, we have to break out on heavier volume. So we're looking for a green bar like this right here where my pointer is, but that green bar would be over here and we would blow right through there and we'd come right up to these tops on the Dow. And now there is a lot of overhang. But for us to validate it mathematically, we're not here to speculate or what if or do you think or any of this kind of uh, analysis. We just simply don't believe in that. There's only one thing we believe in, and that is the math. And mathematics has never steered us wrong. And it doesn't have an opinion. And it's not going to misguide you because it won't. And we would love to have you here in that pre five day trial. You've been watching this with the Dow. You're watching it again. And you can do it with broader equities. We are market makers in the option pit. Managed account program is open to people. That's where we do it all for you. Okay? So, here we go. Support. Pop. Test. Counter trend. 710 down of yesterday. It started with the gap down, and these two diamonds on the day on the daily here, we need to see an algorithm diamond pop. An example would be like this: that algorithm pop, that algorithm pop, that algorithm pop, and these are mathematical. They don't lie in directional movement and which way the Dow will go and how it'll perform. And what does that tell you about the broader market? It tells you a lot. This one has not taken out these highs. And every time, the highs were lower. And we have found the counter trend of support. Good luck, everyone. Enjoy yourself. And once again, be safe. Dow Jones daily chart ended up 25,745. And 299.66 move. So you got the nines in there and the sixes. 299.66 gain. The bulls got that counter trend there. 